Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I hope the week has started well from your side. And over here it is everything go and set for a new series week of more analysis, more videos, and in-depth political insights and inlook. Thank you so much for today and uh, for coming to join us today. There is a communique that has been released by the Raila Molodinga Presidential Campaign Secretariat under the Department of the Press Secretary, who is the veteran journalist and an insider, the one and only Dennis Osarigo. And I've noted with keen interest some uh, part of that communique that I want us to do deductions uh, on and uh, then make a conjecture of what we might expect because I am beginning to think that the Raila Mulodinga's camp has come to the realization that there is no time like the present and things are very serious and when things are so serious you know they do not want to leave anything behind so look at this communique and as you can see in that communique we have Raila Mulodinga giving attributes to the manner in which the previous week was successful in their view and also giving the sequence that this week will have in as far as the campaigns are concerned. You see they have scheduled their rallies and of course they will go to even Kisumu as you can see there and then they will culminate it with the Nairobi rally which would coincide with the date of Azimio Delegates Convention. And that is why I want us to give attention to the Azimio Delegates Convention. Before I do that, I want to wish all our KCP candidates the very best of luck. And in the event that you have a sibling who is taking the exam, please I send them the best of luck. Luck is where preparation and opportunity meet. So I believe that uh, as they start their exams, then and as we wish them the best of luck, it will come into uh, fulfillment because they have prepared well and opportunity has come for them to show what they have done all along. Because these are our future analysts, proper ones with endowed prowess of highest level and you want to uh, set them on the best uh, precedence even as they take their exams and they uh, move to the next level so let me come back to the politics of today the business of today so i've noted with keen interest some parts of the communique that i want us to do analysis on because like i told you you know, there is no time like the present. And that is one realization that Raila Mulodinga's camp has come to terms with. In the, in the program of Checkpoint on KTN News, I had the One Kenya Alliance spokesperson who was very categorical. And he made high hopes on the stand that at the end of the day, the Oka will have the dialogue come to a fruition with Azimio camp. And I want us to bring whatever he was saying to concur with what is going to be in the Azimio camp at the end of this week. Because according to the communique, Rela Muldinga is expected to be endorsed by the Azimio delegates from across the 47 counties. Because you remember when we were having the ODM NDC and the Jubilee NDC, President Uru Kenyatta stated very well that after two weeks, they will come together and show everybody that it is Raila Mulodinga who has been endorsed and it is Azimio, One Kenya Alliance, or whatever they will call it eventually, as having been fulfilled. And so this communique is noting some key developments that we can derive from it. Raila Mulodinga hinted something 
some few days ago, the moment Kalonzo Musoka had uh, revisited the 2017 agreement when they were in the NASA fraternity. So Raila Mulubinga told Kalonzo that if we cannot go with the legal standing of what we made as gentlemen in 2017, then because we are in a new dispensation, because we are in a new realm, let us go to the people so that the people decide. And this is exactly what the Azimio camp has finally decided on, that because Raila Mulubinga had, had been cross-sectionally exacted by the Azimio parties, the parties that are forming Azimio, and this is why I told you we want to make a conjecture that the dialogue between One Kenya Alliance and the Azimio is leading to Raila Molodinga face Kalonzo Musyoka in the entire, uh, I mean in the eventual nomination. And so, One Kenya Alliance is making an impact by fronting Kalonzo Musyoka to go and compete with Raila Molodinga in the nomination before they finally land on who comes the Azimil One Kenya Alliance presidential candidate. And this is why, if you follow that communique, it is giving Raila Mulinga a platform to be endorsed first by the Azimio Laomoja parties. And after being endorsed, he will be ready to go and face Kalonzo Musyoka in the nomination. And actually, this, this might actually be on a fair ground because, you know, the weight of Kalonzo Musyoka, when he comes on board to work with Raila Mulinga for the third time, would be given more attention. And one of the people that President Uru Kenyatta will not want to neglect working with Raila Mulinga is Kalonzo Musyoka. You remember, President Uru Kenyatta has fought so hard and has done everything possible for him to bring Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Mulinga to work together. And if you can listen to the manner in which he makes his statements, especially when he revisits um, the handshake and all the activities that are underpinning the handshake, he always talks about Kalonzo Musyoka being a key man that helped him in the same same manner that Raila Muludinga helped him. And uh, if you look back, even before the mother Oka broke up, you know, he was really trying so hard to have the gentlemen of Oka reason together and come and support Raila Muludinga. And so, President Rukanyata will be very keen on ensuring that the dialogue comes to a fruition and like Alonzo Musoka actually preferred that the president takes the steering wheel of this dialogue then definitely President Uru Kenyatta will not want to let Alonzo Musoka go. So there is something that has developed in the Azimio camp where they have agreed or they have come to a common table that if Alonzo Musoka is still adamant on a structured dialogue and um, actually to go further with uh, the dialogue and come to us, let us give him a listening ear. And giving him a listening ear is based on an equal ground of testing the waters, taking the risk of going into nomination with the One Kenya Alliance and the Azimio. So they bring the two coalitions before finally um, actualizing the Azimio One Kenya Alliance, which will drive the winner of the nomination to the presidential election 9th August this 2022. So ladies and gentlemen, we can expect this to happen. And like I said, this is a conjecture. Very many things might come. But one thing that we are assured of is that um, Raila Mulodinga and Kalozo Musyoka will work together. Oka the other day arranged its house in order and said they will nominate one of them to be the presidential candidate. And so just like in the parties that form a coalition, once they have nominated, for example, Kalonzo Musyoka, who is the most uh, ready one <laughs> in, 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 in Oka, then Azimio Camp also picks Raila Monodinga, then these two gentlemen will go into a nomination. If they do not go for a nomination, then definitely they might end up having a consensus. But it is a consensus that will be involving a lot. And so the Azimio camp is also trying to weigh out 
on the manner in which they can tackle Kalonzo Musyoka's grievances without demoralizing them. And so that is why they have actually arranged for Azimio uh, delegates conference to endorse Raila Odinga and once Kalonzo Musyoka's Oka has also endorsed, then this gentleman will face off in the nomination. And from that, we will have Azimio, one Kenya presidential candidate. Tell me what you can derive from this. Tell me what you have based on this kombinike and what you see going to happen. And let's meet in the next video, ladies and gentlemen.